series of work, this cycle of work that had such a long gestation period. It began with my connection to, to poems from a book called Under the Iron of the Moon, and it ended uh, with a poem uh, also by the same writer, Thomas Bernhardt, uh, that is called In a Carpet Made of Water, which eventually, uh, I was reading that poem when I was in the midst of completing the painting here. Uh, it um, the the initial stages, the rolling and, and and the blue patch that you can see up the uh, still see up the top. Um, well, that was an initial layer of the work that started in two thirteen. However, the final completion of this work eluded me for I hate to count the years. <laughs> um, so maybe we sh we shouldn't count. So it. did it just end up sort of leaning against the wall more or less? It leaned against the wall. It leaned um, uh, face to the wall. It leaned as a completed painting in 215 uh, uh, that I actually photographed uh, and it fitted the carpet of the water because it was a blue painting. However, it was not saying any more than another blue painting that I had in the show called Bribey. It seemed to have been a repeat of an experience that's already happened. It had, uh, it had new experiences in it that I could connect to as new, um, but there was no point in, in keeping a painting that wasn't saying that much more than a painting that, that was part of that series, so I kept it behind. Drawing has always been uh, such an important component, or it's the vital component of all of the works, uh, including or especially the works where uh, very little vestiges of it remain. Um, so the, um, the group of small works the, uh, that I, I call the quartet, uh, there is a strong element of drawing that was preserved in them. However, there were many other layers of drawing underneath the, the final stage, uh, but the playful voice was missing at the beginning. So I had to work with the painting and with the drawing together until eventually the voice lifted in them. For this series of work, which had uh, which had one of the longest gestation periods, um, I needed more time uh, in order to deal with the richness of the colors I was using. Often, when 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 a painting uh, uh, has the appearance of say one color that uh, that's closer to a scarlet or to a let's call it geranium red um, uh, color, often in in the making of that color, many many reds and many even blues and other colors cont or yellows contribute to the making of that red. So the final appearance might be that of a particular red, uh, but a number of of colors. Uh, have participated actively in the making of that color. And, and that's, uh, that's the reason I thought the best way to explain color in my painting is to refer to it as found color. And the, and the scraping back into the paint also gives me what we call texture, even though it is never it is never a concern of a concern of mine texture. Uh, it is more concern of mine um, when it does not integrate with the final structure or configuration of the painting, then I need to remove it. So I remove a lot, I scrape off a lot, I erase a lot mm -hmm. in order to find the, the final configuration of the painting. So the, the aim is to find a final configuration that is discovered, uh, that is not an experience, I, uh, that is a new experience and that carries form that, uh, that is capable of ex extending outside the life of my having painted on that work. <laughs>